welcome back. If you're new to my channel or just not yet subscribed, my name is Brittany and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that little bell on. Soon we're going to be diving into 31 days of Halloween and you won't want to miss a single video. Now, first and foremost, if you don't know, I do have my own Etsy shop. This is one of the necklaces I made. It is a fairy wing. I love fairies, if you didn't know. Um, each necklace is a very limited quantity. Like some only have like one to two. If you guys really like them, I will make more of those styles. I'm also going to be adding shirts. I have crystal trees on there. And all of the proceeds are actually going to be going directly into our wedding fund. So I appreciate any support and love that you guys are able to give me. Anyways, let's dive in to the topic for today. So we're going to be talking about McDonald's urban legends. I used to work at McDonald's. If you guys did not know, I was a department manager. I was in the process of becoming a store manager. I, you know, it was literally my life. I was trying to become like a, um, what's the word for it? A district, I was trying to become a district manager. Like that was my goal. I was on the right path there and I loved the company and it kind of just went downhill really, really quickly. They, I kind of saw like their true colors and I didn't like them. So anyways, let's dive into these urban legends. So this one is that one McDonald's store is entirely run by robots. Yeah, robots. It's said that all McDonald's stores are solely replacing their workers with robots and that they have started like trialing it in some stores in the southern states in America. And the reason behind the dubbed Mick Robots is that McDonald's doesn't want to pay its staff a living wage and instead would rather invest the money on a robot that would be cheaper in the long run. Now this or like the origin of this urban legend can be traced back to May 2015 when a fake news article was published on a website, because you know, I mean, if you don't know, you can't trust everything that you read online. Now, news examiner claimed that a store in Phoenix, Arizona had been replaced, like its entire staff was replaced by robots. Snopes had debunked it, but that hasn't stopped people from believing that Mick Robots is a real thing. So what do you guys think? I mean, I can see like the whole world getting taken over by robots. I could see it. Next is that McDonald's is brainwashing kids. A 1996 survey of American school children found that 96% of children could identify Ronald McDonald. So that was 20 years ago or over 20 years ago. In 2013, Time Magazine did a study and 40% of parents reported that their child asked to go to McDonald's at least once a week. Now, they do this by very targeted marketing. Now, it's said that McDonald's latest way to brainwash kids is by showing them a documentary called The 540 Meals. Now, this is a movie produced by McDonald's and it's about a high school teacher losing weight by eating only McDonald's food. And I do remember this movie being shown in Home Ec. So it's just pretty crazy. Well, let me know what you guys think of that one and if you've ever seen that movie. Next, we have the ancient burial grounds, McDonald's. Now, legend has it that a McDonald's in Rock Rim in Colorado Springs is built on an ancient burial grounds. Now, the store in question has been haunted by not so happy looking Native American men. Apparently these spirits will turn on taps, jangle keys and produce phantom screams. Locals say that this is definitely an ancient burial ground. However, there's no archeological 
or archaeological evidence to support these claims. Interesting. Next, we have that Ronald McDonald is a member of the Illuminati. According to some conspiracy, Ronald McDonald started the killer clown phase. It said that the, the clown is a subtle representation of Satan and was designed by the Illuminati to appeal to children in order to make them more susceptible to notions of Satan and hell. They say that they are, that clowns are used as a trigger in some kind of Illuminati mind control technique. I don't know about you guys, but I can't see uh, Ronald McDonald being part of the Illuminati. Next, we have that McDonald's burgers are made from earthworms. Now, this rumor dates back to 1978, when people started to refer at, to like McDonald's burgers as McSquirmies. Now, McDonald's obviously denied that it was made of earthworms and saying that there wasn't any protein additives. Well, actually, they, they denied that it wasn't there was no protein additives, but they never denied, they never used the word worm. So interesting. But I mean, you, fast food is probably not the highest quality meat we can eat. So I guess there's a reason why like a value menu is a value menu. Next we have, there are cow eyeballs in McDonald's burgers. Now, since the whole worm burger thing, McDonald's have been very vigilant on reiterating that their burgers are only 100% beef. But are they? Sure, well, some of the burgers might be, but are they using more parts of the cow than we know that the chain would actually use eyeballs from the cow in their burger. So technically still a hundred percent beef. However, this is not in line with the United States Department of Agriculture, which says that all animal byproducts and fillers need to be clearly labeled so that McDonald's could not do this and just get away with it. And next we have a very popular one, which is the haunted McDonald's bench. Now, legend has it that there's a haunted Ronald McDonald bench in Cuernavaca in Morelos, Mexico. And it seems that one evening, two drunk guys were out and about and wanted to get some food after some solid drinking hours. <laughs> they got their burgers and they sat on a bench outside. When they were finished, they thought that they would call it a night. And one guy turned to the other and said, I'm tired. And it seems that this was the moment that the inanimated Ronald McDonald decided to pipe up. He turned his head, smiled and said, I'm tired too. So obviously like really scared the guys. Apparently the whole thing was caught on CCTV, but McDonald's destroyed the evidence and hushed up the incident. Next we have, there are knives and needles in the ball pits. Now, some McDonald's restaurants come with a complete play area, which I don't know about where you guys live, but in New York, that's not really common anymore. Now in 1994, a child actually died after playing in the ball pit. The urban legend has it that three-year-old Kevin Archer was pricked by a hypodermic needle that contained the drug heroin while he dived into the ball pit. And a story has circulated in 1999 that was said to be written by Kevin's mother saying that he died from a drug overdose because of that. Because of the kid's death, the police removed all of the balls from the ball pit. They had found that the balls only get taken out and cleaned once a month. And in this specific pit in Sugarland, Texas, Authorities found rotten food, feces, diapers, half-eaten candy, knives, and needles. However, there is no actual record of this death. So that's why it's an urban legend. 
but it honestly would not surprise me if like those things were in those ball pits and it wasn't being cleaned as often as they should. Last urban legend I have for you guys is that there's a mutant meat lab. In early 2000s, the rumors started flying around the internet that McDonald's meat was made from genetically mutated cows. Now, these cows were grown specifically to produce the meat in McDonald's burgers. The original source seemed to be a fake email uncovered in Brazil. The email said that the people who had seen the creatures reared in the lab were horrified. They said that the mutants had no limbs, bones, horns, or fur, that their heads were the size of baseballs, and that they were fed through tubes directly into their stomach, which sounds horrifying. The email also stated that those who eat the meat are at risk of catching a disease. So, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think it's the healthiest meat, but I don't know if, like, it's mutant meat. But there is a ghost story that I wanted to share with you guys about a McDonald's. So this one goes, despite seeing ghosts all my life, I've actually had a peaceful life since I moved from my house until about six months ago, three months after I started a new job. Now this is also supposed to be a true ghost story, guys. To put it bluntly, I have never seen a more active poltergeist in my life. I work at McDonald's and Walmart in Vegas. It's supposed to be it's super busy, so some of the stuff that happens there is easy to write off in the moment, but a lot of it has the staff spooked. A lot of it happens in the mornings and early evenings, and though it started out simple enough, little feelings don't, it seem to be getting more and more prominent and playful. To the point I've named him Casper because he just seems friendly and like he likes to play pranks on us. The first serious memory I have is hearing my name called all the time and no one calling it. I also thought it was nothing at all. Then one day a coworker and I were in the back stalking and we heard something loudly call her name. I thought it was just my imagination, but she asked our boss and found out it was no one. So she turns to me, pale, and asks if I heard it too. Of course I did, and at that point, I actually felt spooked because it validated my belief it was haunted. Another spooky story was told to me today. We have a new general manager that started working yesterday. She was just coming in for the day, and apparently while checking the back, a heavy box literally dropped from the shelf. I think nothing of it, except she said it wasn't on the edge, and it looked like someone threw it rather than it just falling. When she told this to me, she looked really freaked out. Other times, as a cashier, I will find myself stepping away from my register, only to come back to find items on my POS that I never typed in. Today, it was a double cheeseburger. The POS system, if you guys don't know, that's the, um, the register. Simple enough, but I wasn't even near the register at the time. It would have been pressed, but sometimes it isn't this simple. There are days I will find three or four different items punched in and no one around to have done so. Then there's the smaller stuff I'm starting to attribute to Casper, such as little things in the back going missing, only to show up somewhere totally different. That little feeling of being watched and again a disembodied voice calling my name. A part of me wonders if since I've always been sensitive, he's trying to contact me. But a part of me is scared too, especially when my co-worker wanted to use a Ouija board app tonight to try and make contact with him. I'll probably have more to share as, as time goes on, but I found it rather bizarre and intriguing that he's haunting a McDonald's in a relatively new Walmart. I do wonder if I'll ever find answers to who he is and what he wants. Oh, another fun fact was the Mc first McDonald's I worked in um, before I got transferred to a different one was in a Walmart. Let me know what you guys think of all of that, all the urban legends, if you think there's any truth to those ones, or if you think, you know, they're just some silly thing that's made up. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, definitely make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and 
I love you guys. Bye.